Cresco is a UK based fintech. We operate as an account to account payment API, more commonly known as open banking payments, more about providing an invoice checkout. So when a, one business invoices another, how can we solve that problem? A lot of the payment technology that we're familiar with today derives from the B2C space and specifically it derives from payments that started in the 1950s and 1960s in America such as the diners club card so it was allowing consumers to check out at restaurants without having to carry cash so that has probably evolved into what we now know as a point of sale checkout device. When you go to a supermarket and they present you with a near-field communication device, that is the evolution from the Diners Club card. That was also pushed onto the e-commerce checkout solution, which is what we sort of familiar with with Amazon or companies like Stripe that allow you to buy things online using your card details. And they take those card details and they send them through Visa and MasterCard to your bank and eventually the process gets um, transacted. Now, these solutions weren't very suitable for B2B payments for various reasons. And certainly B2B businesses weren't willing to accept a kind of PayPal, Stripe, point of sale checkout device. And there's probably various reasons to that. I think in payments, there's five clear columns as to like, whether you've got a good payment company or not. And one of them is, is price. And these checkout solutions are very expensive. The other ones are probably visibility, speed, like settlement time, convenience, and fraud. Now, the card payments are incredibly convenient. If we go back to that Diners Club card, that's what its point was, to provide for a more convenient checkout. But they don't score so well on those other columns. And they're very expensive. But if you're running a supermarket, the biggest bottleneck in your supermarket is the checkout counter. That's the one where you want to get people through as quickly as possible. So you're happy to accept a high price for increased convenience. But if you're a business sending somebody an invoice, that's no, no longer the case. You know, the invoice is not the bottleneck. Late payments are a pain problem, but they're not a bottleneck. And so a lot of these checkout solutions that were designed for the B2C world, specifically for, let's say, the bottleneck in the supermarket or the short-term attention span people have when they're shopping online and you just need to get their details and run and have the transaction, that isn't so true with B2B payments. And what open banking did, you know, we didn't invent open banking, it's a new form of technology that we have used as a, like, um, as a kernel of the company to create a more convenient checkout, but we've directed it towards businesses because it works across those other key columns, especially across price and settlement speed time, but it's also providing a more convenient checkout. Open banking, the, the, the main benefits of it are increased convenience, instant settlement, like real-time settlement, you know, one million pounds, as fast as you can send a WhatsApp message and, and price. It, there are no intermediaries. Those car payments, you know, the, the company that provides you with the point of sale terminal then collects that card information, gives it to another company called, I guess, a payment service provider that then passes it to Visa, that then passes it to the acquiring bank and then passes it to the merchant acquiring bank. These people all need to get paid. Whereas, with us, we just connect to everyone's bank account through these secure open APIs and are able to send very quick messages, the messages like a WhatsApp message going, please pay somebody. The term open was probably used originally in all the right reasons, but then from a consumer perspective, it's probably quite scary, especially that open banking has a lot to do with data. It's like open, what's open? How about you to open up my bank account to the world? It's my data now accessible to everybody. and. That's not what it means. It means the banks have created APIs that are open to approved, regulated third parties like ourselves. Open banking or account to account payments is, in our minds, an inevitable wave of like, you know, adoption all the way around the world. So 
we can talk about the UK, but it's growing throughout the EU. It's growing in Brazil, in Mexico, in Indonesia, in India, in South Korea. And which of these markets will grow quickest for us? It's like, well, where do we need to be? Like, we, we cannot be you know, in all places at once. So we're really trying to pay attention to which are the most fertile, fastest growing markets. But within the UK, open banking, there's still a lot of improved communication that needs to go on between those within the sort of payment ecosystem. And that's definitely between ourselves and the banks, between ourselves and the regulators, between the regulators and the banks. And the more that we can improve our messaging and assure that we're all on the same page and everyone's singing from the same tune, then we can build a better consumer experience.